and went and Apple has officially announced a new product, an all new budget and iPad. And let's just say this event was a little underwhelming. It's no wonder that Apple didn't live stream it. So you had to sit and watch it through a blog. But in any case, let's go ahead and cover what's new, what's changed in this iPad. Of course, it is a budget and model. It's focused on classrooms for teachers, for students that can't really afford the higher end models. And it's an iPad that blends a lot of the functions from the higher end models with the cheaper stuff, such as the Apple Pencil and the power. So this thing is powered by an all new A10X CPU, which for the budget and models actually pretty fantastic. I really was expecting Apple to announce a lot more stuff, but they didn't. It was just this iPad, which I'll get into the details here in just a second, but no new MacBooks, no new iPhones, no iPhone colors. Even iOS 11.3 was hardly mentioned aside from some of the classroom like features and yet no date was given on that. So we might still, you know, see a release date here any day, but really it's unknown at this point in time. Now, Apple kicked this off by saying that the $329 iPad has been their most popular by far. Classrooms everywhere have been buying them just because of the affordability. And they wanted to continue that tradition since forever they've been already in classrooms with the iMacs and all that. So pretty much Apple has been collaborating with classrooms for the longest time and they want to keep that tradition alive, keep inspiring kids and all that. And what better way to do that than to introduce an all new iPad where even more is possible for the same amount of money as the previous $329 iPad. The amazing thing is they kept the costs low while including some of the most top end stuff support for the Apple Pencil, a Apple A10X CPU, which is incredibly powerful. And alongside this new iPad, there's been a lot of updated software such as smart annotations in keynotes and presentation software. So in general, it's just been made much more friendly for the classroom as Apple's understanding the needs of most of these students. So in a nutshell, this is the summary of what you'll be getting on this new iPad, of course, Touch ID, unknown if that's second or first generation. I'd bank on first generation, honestly, although maybe second since the prices have gone down. The A10 Fusion chip, which is impressive, 10 hours of battery life, 8 megapixel camera, which is a pretty old camera if Apple isn't using the 12 megapixel sensor, as well as pretty much sensors you can expect on any other iDevice, and LTE up to 300 megabit download speeds. So pretty cool. Apple did show off some new AR capabilities as well. So, I mean, this camera must be pretty decently capable since it can do some of this stuff, but I'm guessing the A10 does most of the heavy lifting. It also only weighs one pound, so about the same as the previous generation. I don't know if the body has changed in any way, but it seems to be offered in three colors, rose gold, space gray, and silver. So you get one more color option, which is pretty neat. Apple did also talk a lot about classroom features, so class kits where uh, teachers will be able to manage a bunch of students with their Apple IDs very easily. And the amount of iCloud storage that you get has gone from 50 gigabytes to 200 gigabytes for no extra charge, which is nice of Apple to do. And interestingly enough, they did show off some third party cases from Logitech, which is unusual of Apple to do. They usually sell their own at this event. So pretty much in a nutshell, this iPad is focused on students and it's not very expensive. It can't do too much much, but at the same time, you can do a lot of what the higher end models can do for way less. So Apple's strategy is pretty much leave nobody behind, give everyone what they need from an iPad, despite what price point you come in and buy an iPad at. So overall, yeah, I am a little underwhelmed, but then again, Apple didn't stream this event publicly for a reason. This is just focused on students and teachers classrooms so that they can get a private screening of this new iPad that's focused towards them. In any case, still pretty cool of Apple to do this. I could certainly see Apple apply the same strategy to a budget and iPhone, whether that be the iPhone SE2 or the new LCD model, but uh, very cool. Apple was supposed to announce a new MacBook here as well, which they didn't, so they might do that at WWDC, but basically everything that Apple didn't announce, we're going to be expecting to see at WWDC now. So there it is, guys, a new, more capable iPad, faster Apple Pencil support, slightly better specs for $329, $299 if you're part of a classroom or teacher, uh, you can buy this for that price. So this should be available to order.